So oh, hey everybody, this is Shaq and he forgot his uh, big camera battery. He's a smart man. Uh, today we're back out fishing with Philip. Today we're working a little closer to home. And you know, last time I let him win with those seven fish to my one, but not today. He had a little fun, he had his little, little pity party, whatever, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Hey, Phil, what are we doing today, buddy? So what we're doing is we're fishing early springtime. Um, we're out here in the river. So what we're going to do is look for some tidal, some, some tidal flats where the fish may be spawning. Currently, we're just doing a little bit of searching with some crankbait and something out here in a few weeks. So just kind of see what pattern the fish are on. So we're running some shallow running crankbaits right now. Um, we start finding fish, we might switch over to some plastics and roll, run a little, little slower. Um, but square bill is a pretty good tactic. Uh, I'm just going to try and beat them around and see if we can find some wood to catch these fish off of. So that's what we're working on right now. So hopefully we'll get some in the boat and uh, you will see some action. Yeah, that was a lot better answer than I was going to give y'all. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, hopefully we get into uh, some, some uh, good fishing grounds. Uh, are th is it about time that they start uh, bedding? Yep, yep. Uh, definitely the males have moved up already. Uh, we have been catching them shallow. Uh, the fish that you saw last week, we were on the same type of pattern and you definitely, we were definitely seeing them. We were in a different river. So like I said, we are trying to do a little bit of searching here today. I haven't been here in a few weeks and the, this time of year, everything's kind of changing. Um, as everybody says, you know, when the dogwoods start blooming here in Virginia is when the fish start moving to the bed. And that is definitely what we have been seeing. So spring is upon us. Yeah, this is the reason why I just, you know, I just come along and let him do all of it, <laughs> work through it. But uh, hopefully we get on top of them and I'll start it back up once we get on. Philip, explain what you just explained to me because I don't understand this, you know. So, uh, you know, the temperature's been changing cr like crazy this week. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm switching. I got a couple of different crankbait rods up here. Uh, very similar bait, just a little bit deeper diver. So I'm just going to change rods, change baits a little bit, see if these fish are working just a little bit lower than what I've expected them to. I was throwing a two to four. I'm going to go to like a three to six type bait here same deal a little bit of a square bill and just just doing a little bit of searching trying to figure them out just to get us on a pattern try and get on a pattern quick so we can really put some fish in the boat today see well he's explaining all that my goal is not to get stuck in the tree over here that's fisherman still can't set a <laughs> hook <laughs> god damn it Yeah, it's on right now. Oh, she's a nice one, too. Oh, that's a real one. <laughs> what the f***? It's not a monster, but it's she's a good river bridge. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes, baby. Get that done. Yeah, so, like I said, we're just trying to figure it out. You know, just throwing a small square bill, nothing special. This is just a one you can buy from Walmart. Um, strike king uh four or five dollar bait um nice little river fish mm -hmm. probably approaching the three pound mark so just hanging on some wood shallow water just like we were looking for so as you can see that's a yet roadie yeti roadie top this is just as long as a roadie so nice fish see i just let him catch that one that's the one i missed the hook set on Man. she goes we'll catch her next time damn it that should have been mine yeah can't believe you stole my fish like that hmm? can't believe you stole my fish like that i always kiss the first day that's what my grandpa always did hmm. supposed to bring luck for the rest of the day that's just like uh we always throw the first fish back or like saltwater fishing and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I learned too. It's interesting. Everyone has their own little uh, fishing traditions and stuff like that. Yeah. It's kind of funny the things that you carry with you, you know? Oh, yeah. Part of hunting and fishing is the traditions, those traditions, yeah. See, 
I'm over here yip yapping, and this man hooks up again to another one. This is dumb. Fishing's stupid. I quit. Yep. Another, another one on the boat. Um, just out here working that one same, that same piece of wood, just trying to catch a few of them off of it before we move on to our next spot. Um, this is number two, a little bit smaller fish, but nothing wrong with that. We're just out here having a good time. Yeah, he's having a good time. I'm not. It is messed up. You know what? I'm gonna try switching it up a little different from you. I'm gonna give it a different presentation. And I'm gonna catch the big fish. Maybe. That first one was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Like mm -mm. Hey, this is what you get. You can't catch two fish like that and and get off scotch free. It's a GoPro one. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Dude. God damn it. Oh my god. Well, that makes it Philip three, me eight. How many are cup? Eight, nine? Zero. Uh, you know, in, in some countries, that's what you would say. <laughs> yep. So it looks like we're starting to turn up a pattern now. They're in pretty shallow water, like we kind of thought they were going to be. Everything that we've caught has been on wood, and they've definitely been on the chase. So we're going to keep pushing along with these crankbaits, you know, kind of comb through the water, and then uh, we'll push through the dead spots and hopefully get some more fish in the boat but just a, another nice little river bass it's pretty cool you know being out here in tidal water um, bass fishing it's not something that everybody in the country gets to do so it's just kind of a neat little thing that's unique to the coast so we are definitely out here and enjoying this beautiful day and let me just refrain he's saying we are on the fish I haven't caught jack <laughs> I caught a stick that was pretty cool one time <laughs> That's about all I'm doing. See, I think he's doing some secret sauce over here. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna play a little follow the leader. Uh, -uh. get it. Get yourself a little bit of J boat action. Uh, she rocking and rolling. Oh, uh, relax, J boat. It's a Sunday, baby. <sighs> I still didn't get hooked though. I'm gonna get hung up. <laughs> I can't even put it in the dock. Oh, the GoPro is recording too. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'll there you go. Why'd you leave the pliers up here? Because you knew you weren't gonna make it? Go f yourself. How about that? <laughs> Alright, so what are we about to do, Philip? Uh, we're over here. Up ahead of us, we got a creek drain. So, the cool thing about these river bass is you know, we're fishing the outgoing tide right now, and uh, that's by design. We kind of the fish will kind of stage up at the bottom of our or at the mouth of a little creek like this. So, everything that's in that creek will, creek will kind of wash out to it and then just makes it for an easy meal. So, we're just going to replicate that. We're going to throw up in the creek and just kind of come back to us, and hopefully, we can see get something that's staged up at the bottom of the creek mouth. So easy way to see a congregation of fish and just try and get a hook in one yeah i'm gonna follow his lead <laughs> oh, not a bad fear definitely catching a big old bit. great day Fill me in on this, Phil. All right, so this is what we call a bow fin. Uh, so these fish are, they're kind of a, they're like a, almost a prehistoric deal. I don't know, 
hundred percent about the whole logistics on them. I do know that they have a primitive lung, so they can live out of water. Uh, they do have teeth, so I was trying to be real careful so I can get my bait back uh, by using this net here. And uh, I don't want to put my hands in his mouth for sure because of those teeth. So I'm going to do my best to not get hooked, get this fish unhooked, get him back overboard. And uh, so that's something that's going on with this fishery is they definitely are uh, the bowfin live pretty much where the bass do and they're just trying to share spaces here so when you're bass fishing you're inevitably going to start catching some of these um, if you're doing this tidal water in there around uh, so definitely don't want to put my hands in there because he's got a strong jaw and this hook is definitely in there you can see this i don't know if you can see those teeth or not they're not huge teeth but definitely ruin your day for sure All right, so uh, that's gonna give you an update. Still haven't caught. Um, Philip's now caught five, four, and uh, you know, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. something fierce today. So this one is something fierce today. Oh, wait. <laughs> yep. Ah. And with the flip. Look at this pretty old boy. Ow. Got me. Some of So got my first one of the day. Not too bad. Pretty healthy. <laughs> I'm never gonna throw one in the right way. <laughs> That's why I told you all I needed was the Red Bull. Let's go. Huh. Look at the little boy. Little guy, little guy. Still working that same pattern though, like I was talking about, you know, just trying to find a good pattern to get fit. Fishing a flat, got a square bill, just running around trying to find some wood to smack on. So, I mean, not the biggest fish of the world, but we're out oh. there having a good time. Hey, a fish is a fish and we're having a great time. I mean, I'm not going to say my fish is better or anything, but you know, best fish of the day or something like that in my head. You, you know what? Maybe I'm just a perch fisherman, not a bass fisherman. Got a little buddy over here. Oh, nice little perch here. You know, it's better than nothing. Oh, man. Oh, God, I got perch sperm all over me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh god, <laughs> oh god, and I hooked myself, <laughs> this is the worst, I hate bass fishing, oh god, that's gross, you know, that, that is some sh that would just happen to me, that's fucking nasty. Oh my god. I'm so glad I was recording. I'm so glad I was recording. <laughs> Another bowfin. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I'm a bass fisher. You hung the fuck up. How did that? Oh, I hate my life. You get the upset at least. Oh, I said, <laughs> oh, that hook. <laughs> you see, look at this. You see how, how hard I set this hook? You tied up. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I got time. I can tie myself up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not meant for these close quarters fishing, man. You know what? I don't know who named this the weedless setup, but they're wrong because I got a lot of trees. True. <laughs> True. We are finally back on the up rim. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're finally back on after a couple of hours of a, of a drought. We found, uh oh. They got fines. Yeah. yeah. Falling back on something. <laughs> the old bluegill. The old bluegill. Snack of the bass. Ah, I'm at the Oak Fan Central. Philip, how does it feel knowing that you are the official bofin, bo master. bofin master? Uh, just, you know, feel like I deserve an award. <laughs> oh, skiff lap almost got me. I almost went overboard. Uh, what the ah! Oh, nope, you're still there. No, he's just like directly underneath. Uh, directly underneath. And he's still making a run. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Here y'all, I think we had a pretty good day of fishing when you say Philip. Not too bad, not too bad. Caught a couple, you know, got broke off at the end. A little sad, but again, it happens. You know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> and again, thank you again, Philip, for uh, treating us to a nice another fishing adventure. Not a problem. And we're going to head back and uh, work on some bow shooting. So again, if you guys have anything you guys want to see us do in particular, please let me know. Till then, see ya. Mm -hmm.